So to set up audio ducking, the first thing you're going to want to do is launch OBS Studio. You may be able to do this with Streamlabs OBS slobs, but I'm not sure I don't use that, so I'm not sure details on this. So this will be covering OBS Studio. So the first thing you want to do whenever you're setting up audio ducking is you want to find the audio source or sources that you want to duck out of the way whenever you're speaking. So the the sources that are going to get softer. For me, I'm piping everything in this example just through desktop audio. So we can just go ahead and start some music here. And as you can see, watch this little green bar and you can see that there's activity there. So that's the source that we want to duck out of the way. So you'll hit the sprocket and then click filters. Now your OBS obviously may be set up and have, have different docks in different locations, but what you're looking for is the audio mixer dock. If you don't see that, you can view it from there, click view and then show the audio mixer. Most should be showing that by default. It just may be in a different location. So I already have this one set up here, but the way you get that is you'll click the plus sign right here to add this filter. You want to add a compressor. And I just named that compressor ducker is what I did in this case. So you can name anything you want to. If it's just taking care of ducking, I would go ahead and just name it that. So we set that up. I'll, I'll go ahead and add one to show you a default setup. So the default would be something like this is what mine defaulted to. I've got your ratio, uh, ratio threshold, attack, release, output gain. So what we did with this is we adjust the things accordingly. The bit important one is right here, sidechain ducking source. Now what you need to do in this drop down, it should show your microphone. So your microphone in this example is usually what you're gonna be want to be the source. So it's like, okay, whenever you pick up sound from this device here, I need you to duck this down. So in my case, it's a Razer Saver and microphone. I'm going to go ahead and delete this now that I already have one created. So you want to populate that with whatever your microphone is. Now here's some default settings and feel free to just try these default settings right here. If you can't read these, I can just let me know. Um, should be able to see this fine. But for example, my ratio is, I set it to three. Now what ratio does, ratio controls how much it's going to duck out of the way if you think about how much it's going to compress audio so for now example just watch so as i'm speaking we can watch this number and for this music's playing right now it averages a peak around 45 but when i stop talking <laughs> and of course this of course the music is quiet then too let's do a different one But for this song right here, the high points were 40. But whenever I start speaking, see it goes way down here. So what you can do, you can play with this. I started with three. Let's say you increase the ratio to 10. That's probably gonna be too much. Now you're gonna notice that. I think you only notice it when you close it. So you close. And what th what's gonna happen is it's gonna duck it like way, probably way farther than you want it to. And you can go crazy with this. You can, for example, you, I mean, you could go 20 to one. I want to compress that much, but whenever you do that, see you're, you're nearly completely, I mean, just obliterating that or you can't hear it. So I set that back at three. Next one is a threshold. I started mine at around neg 30. So what the threshold is, how loud your voice is. So at what point, at what detection threshold do I want it to start making this source that we're editing quieter? At what point? And feel free to start at neg 30. It, that's just talking about your vocal volume in this case. So you may want to play with that too. Um, that's a good starting point. You can just set up and down and just run some tests. Attack. Attack is how quickly it's going to start ducking audio out of the way once it detects that threshold. So if I start speaking now, I have a very low, I've set it to about 51 milliseconds roughly. So as soon as I start speaking, it's gonna be pretty quick about ducking audio out of the way. Now you can expand this. You can make the, you can make the attack um, longer. 
several hundred milliseconds if you want to and what that's going to do the the longer you make that the bigger number you make that the more gradual the volume is going to go down it'll go down slower and more gradually if you want something like that depending on you know what your tastes are mine i want it to duck down out of the way pretty quickly whenever i start talking because i don't want to be overpowered by music or any other game sound whatever else is going on at the time release now that is set i've got mine set at like 657 milliseconds you, you can set it whatever just play with it so release is whenever you're done speaking and it's allowed to bring the audio source back up to whatever your normal volume level was how long and how gradual do you want that to be so i like it to be you know slightly more gradual and i would say in practice you probably want the attack to be quite a bit shorter than release because if i just stop and take a breath or something and then i have the release set too short and it's releasing too soon well then every time i stop and take a, a breath that volume is going to just shoot right back up and you're going to end up with kind of a choppy sound because as soon as i stop talking the music's going to be you know loud again and back and forth so you probably want that to be you know a larger number like like i said i set mine about 657 that's nothing specific you just want it to be on up there a bit so it so it waits a little bit longer and it's more gradual in actually bringing those those sources back up to volume output gain i don't mess with that side chain ducking source again that's going to be set to whatever your microphone is so close and you're done that's set and ready to go so in my case in this example desktop audio is the only source that i wanted to duck out of the way so if you have multiple sources let's say you split yours up across discord you've got a discord source i mean most people's mixers are probably more spread out than mine and have more stuff on here so you can do that for every single one of those things so if you have multiple items that i want this to duck out of the way i want i want you know all of these things that duck out of the way you'll just do that and um you can actually copy filters right here so after you get one set the way you want you can copy filters and after you test it like all right this is great this is what i want right here and i also want it on let's say the discord source and then you hit that same sprocket and then you'll be able to paste the filter there anyway i hope this has been short sweet and helped you um good understanding of at least a good starting point if you have any other questions you can hit me up in discord i'll try to remember to add links below um i do stream on twitch pretty much every day my schedule's on twitch and uh, i'm all about talking about streaming i love it so you can hop in my stream it doesn't matter what game i'm playing whatever i'm always up and always down to talk streaming anything you guys can use um for help i'm more than happy